Hey, we always live Elvis. Hey, Memphis Mafia Kid and... And Teresa. And hey, y'all, hope y'all are having a great week. Uh, we are sorry I woke up a little hoarse today. Have no idea why, unless Teresa choked me in my dreams or something, so, you know, <laughs> tried to kill <laughs> me. Nothing I'm going to uh, admit to. <laughs> before we get started, I want to say uh, a special, because she's, it's a special thank you to Kathy Hutchison for her special thanks mm -hmm. uh, that she's been given soon, and girl, uh, you didn't have to do that, but we appreciate it. It does help out the video yeah, uh, and, and equipment and stuff like that, so thank you very much. Thank appreciate you. Yeah. Okay, first question is from Sam Bradley. Did Vernon ride motorcycles with Elvis and the guys? You know, I, I was going to ask Daddy about the early years. I don't think so even in the early years, but it's possible. But in the later years, uh, Vernon just wasn't a motorcycle rider. I've never known him to ride one, never seen him ride one. Like I said, it's possible uh, in the early years, but the later years, uh, no, just mainly Elvis and, and the guys that worked for him. So. Okay, this is from Joyce Linkle. You wrote it down. I'm thinking Linkle or Hinkle. Wasn't Elvis engaged to Ginger during the last months of his life? According to Elvis. According to uh, Elvis is white, let me put it that way. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we've been over this a few times. Well, uh, yes, he. they were engaged. Uh, getting married... Ah, uh, like we like we said, and, and just state our opinion of what we were told by Elvis, what my mom and dad was told, things that he said. Uh, basically, when the time was right, which uh, was going to never come about. Uh, but as far as being engaged, yes, I mean, uh, you know, Elvis, you know, it's kind of like I said, uh, you know, he was a man, and not only with the charisma, stardom, and everything he had. I mean, he knew what to tell a woman. So, I mean, you, you, not to say it, I would do. You, <laughs> I, can y'all see her in that mirror? Maybe she giving me the eyeball. Uh, well, but to answer your fun. question, yes, uh, they were engaged. Okay, live good, Paul. <clears throat> Did Elvis ever buy your dad a motorcycle? Bought him a few. Uh, I know he had a, a Triumph. Uh, the last one uh, that Elvis bought was when we in '76 when we was uh, on vacation in Palm Springs that I talked about, and they uh, flew to another part of California while we were at Palm Springs, and he bought uh, uh, several motorcycles, uh, and Daddy one of them a uh, Harley Davidson Sportster. Uh, that was the last one he had, and, and to me that was the most beautiful. Uh, bike. It was kind of a, a sky blue. Y'all have probably seen pictures of him and Mama on it. Uh, but uh, he loved that motorcycle so much that uh, he didn't he didn't want to have it flown back. Like, long story short, Mama had, we had to leave so we could get back to school. Uh, she just ruined all your fun. All the time, just ruined it all, like <laughs> always. But, uh, but Daddy didn't want his motorcycle shipped. He was ticky, so we actually rented the U-Ha truck uh, and daddy, mama, and me, and daddy's motorcycle in the back went across country and all the way back home with it. <laughs> Good grief. I thought you were going to say he rode, he drove it. No, he, he hauled it. <laughs> okay, Mick Fallers, did you stay in any of Elvis's other homes? I did. Uh, man, most all of them. I, I mean, there might have been, you know, one or two that I didn't, but, uh, I mean, ever since I was, you know, a young child, we lived with him uh, in, in most all the California homes. Uh, of course, later, uh, you know, at Graceland, not in Graceland, but, uh, yeah, pretty much my whole life. And, and uh, if I haven't said it, I loved every minute of it. Mm -hmm, every yeah. minute of it. <laughs> I love Lucy and the Golden Girls. What do you think about Lisa's book coming out? How will you and Teresa read it? I'd like to read it. I think, uh, you know, I, I've given it thought. And I, but I think with Riley uh, and her part in it and her finishing it, I, I've, got, I, I've got good feelings. I think it's going to be actually a good book. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't know why. I just got 
got those vibes. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, she's, uh, you know, wanting to get the story of her mama the best that she knows and what she, you know, lived uh, with her through uh, out there. And that's, that is a, a great thing, you know, just to do that. So I, I think she do. As far as me reading it, of course, I'll read it just like uh, I told you I always read it. I'll sit there while Teresa reads it out loud. And uh, what did you say? I said you can't read. No, no, not really. I don't <laughs> like reading. It gives me a headache. <laughs> <coughs> well, excuse me, y'all. With it. Okay, you ready for the next one? Oh, uh, sure. Okay, Odie Carone. How many different animals did Elvis have at Graceland? I have no idea, but we'll just go to naming some of them. Ducks, donkeys, horses, peacocks, uh, birds, uh, dogs. Donkeys. Uh, I said donkeys. Okay, said donkeys. Uh, I mean, he had a, a, a lot of different uh, animals up there. And, uh, you know, he loved each and every one of them. Elvis was an animal lover, uh, as as we are. You know, we, we love, uh, you know, our dogs. We've had, we've actually had dogs and cats and uh uh, for some of y'all that do know, some of you don't, uh, one of my favorite buddies was my pet pig, uh, Chops, and uh, lost him uh, several years back now. It's been a good while. And, and uh, then we had the Amazon parrot, Yeah, miss him, miss him every day. McCall. Yeah, we had a uh, blue, blue and gold blue. McCall named yeah. Rowdy. Oh, my gosh. He was so uh, Missed him and love him. But uh, so Elvis was, like I said, the same way. He had, he had uh, a lot of animals. And he had some, uh, I know he had a minor bird. Uh, I was trying to think. It's Some possible. have asked about a cat, but uh, we've talked yeah. about. I mean, barn cat. Barn like I said, may you know, I don't ever remember a cat yeah. up around Graceland. You know, yeah. I, I mean, outside, you know, they had barn cats that they mm -hmm. fed, but none that they, they kept in. The, there was none that uh, they kept in Graceland. Let's put it that way, like they did the dogs. Mm -hmm. So that may help help that out a little bit. Mm -hmm. I can't remember now if that one we did last. Anyway, this is from the same person, so I don't. We skipped it and came back to it. So, live look good, Paul. What is your favorite memory of your parents during your time at Graceland? No, we haven't done that one. I mean, the one before. Oh, uh, you know that's a that's kind of a a, a touching question. It's a great question. Uh, you know, my greatest memories of my parents at Graceland, I think, was the happiness. Uh, just overall, I mean. Individual little memories, there's different things, but I don't think that touches it. I just, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, we moved on and we lived and we were still happy, happy and happy today. But it's just that something that was in their eyes, in their smile. Maybe like the excitement of it. Right. It just, in them, that just made it, I mean, it just, it, it brought the best out of them, in my opinion. And I think, uh, I think. I don't think I know that's that's probably my best memory is just uh them you know sharing living up in Graceland and 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 sharing and, and being with Elvis like I said that uh, you could just you could feel it and man you could see it you know and it just it, you know that that'll never be again not to say like I said today's still great but there's that little something that that will never be again all right, Tina Owens, did you ever go in Elvis's bedroom? I have. I've been in Elvis's bedroom a few times. Uh, you know, it ain't something we just run up there and did, but I've uh, been, been several times with Daddy and uh, and, and and Mama. And, uh, you know, we we passed by it a lot going to Lisa's room. I've told some stories about that, uh, you know, and the door being a little bit cracked and trying to creep by to keep from waking him up and stuff. But, yeah, I've been in this beautiful, uh, beautiful bedroom, I thought. I mean, all of, all of Graceland was beautiful. What about his bathroom? As I've said, yes, been been in his bathroom, uh, dressing room. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll call it his office. Pretty good. The whole combination that was. <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> y'all. I'm sorry. I got something that's just it's like a tickle, boy. Uh, that was considered, you know, his bedroom. I I've been in all of it and uh, was fascinated with all of it and. Uh, you know, still, still, am today. So. But y'all, hey, I, Teresa, I'm, that's all the questions. Well, uh, Heidi, Heidi, he, we just they just went by quick. Sorry, y'all. We'll, <laughs> we'll uh, do better next time. Uh, trying to think if we any updates. Uh, 
I'm going to try to let y'all know next video. We are going to be in Tupelo for the uh, Tupelo Fest 6th through the 9th. Uh, just not sure exactly yet where we're going to be set up. But I will let you know next video. And uh, hopefully that will be plenty of time, me and, me and Teresa. And, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Uh, also looking forward to seeing everybody in August. Uh, you know, uh, Mom and Daddy's meet and greet. I'm sorry, I'm choking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's cough. getting me, but another cough again. But uh, hope each and every one of y'all are doing good. Remember, y'all, we love you, and remember, we, we always, always live Elvis. Elvis. What you got a piece of kale? You're eating healthy now. <laughs>